Good morning. Uh, we're going to take the derivative of y equals the square root of x squared plus 1 times the quantity x minus 1 squared. Uh, we're going to use logarithmic differentiation in order to find the derivative of this function uh, because uh, applying a chain rule to this would be long and tedious, I guess, is why they're telling you to do this. Anyway, that was the instruction, so that's the way I'm going to do it. Uh, and it might, in fact, be I haven't tried it both ways. So we get the nat we take the natural log of both sides, and so we get uh, just the same expression, the natural log of both sides. Now we'll use uh, logarithmic properties to break this down. Uh, remember that that's the uh, power of one half. So we'll have one half natural log of, uh, then I have a product. I'm just going to kind of skip a step here because I've done plenty of these. I have a product, so I have one half uh, plus one half times the natural log of x minus one squared. Um, I can do one more thing by bringing that power down in front. So when I do that, that one half goes away and I'm left with uh, this expression which is much easier now to derive I suppose so if I derive both sides I get uh, the derivative of the natural log of y with respect to x is uh, 1 over y times y prime and then the derivative of this side with respect to x would be 1 half times 1 over the argument which is x squared plus 1 times the derivative of the argument, which is 2x, those 2's are going to cancel, plus uh, the derivative of uh, the natural log of x minus 1 is 1 over the argument, 1 over x minus 1 times, um, I'm going to put that, times the derivative of the argument, which is just 1. Uh, <coughs> so now we multiply both sides by y. Um, I guess I, well anyway, I'll get the common denominator in a minute. So y prime equals y times uh, x over x squared plus 1 plus 1 over x minus 1. Um, so we substitute y, we have a, know what y is, so y prime equals uh, the square root of x squared plus 1 times x minus 1 squared times, um, do I really need to get a common denominator? Why not? Uh, the common denominator of this inside of this brackets is x squared plus 1 times x minus 1, so I need x minus 1 over here, so I'll get x times x minus 1 uh, plus, of course I need an x squared plus 1 over here that's all divided by x squared plus 1 times x minus 1 and uh, I'll just clean it up a little more although I'm kind of debating the necessity of it except this is probably how your book would do it um, x squared plus another x squared is 2x squared Uh, negative x uh, plus 1. And then we have x squared plus 1 times x minus 1. I'm used to bracket. And I think that's probably, although I'm questioning it, Uh, that's about as much as I want to do. Um, you could you you could um, break this up a little bit right here and simplify with this. And uh, I don't. I'm not really going to go there. I, I think it's fine the way it is. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Even though it would look nicer, I'm out of room. So.